morning, second grade writers. Welcome to Unit 2, Lesson 2 for Writing. Yesterday, we learned about a great new way of writing our opinion to others through the form of a letter. And you started writing a letter about one of your favorite characters in a book that we've read recently. We talked about how even when writing a letter, here's how we share our thoughts and feelings. We give a big, bold opinion, and we support that opinion with reasons. I loved seeing how a lot of you remembered that we can't just tell a reason, but we have to have examples and details that back up our reasons, that tell why we think what we think, or say more about the reason that we chose. Well, today we're going to talk about another way that you can add examples and details. And that's our goal for today. I can say more about my reasons to support my opinion by using the word because. Have you ever been sharing your thoughts and feelings with someone and they don't quite understand why you think or feel what you think? That's the reason why we have to back up our reasons with examples and details. And sometimes it's hard to think of how to do that. That's why we're going to learn how to use the word because. Because is another way that we can give examples and details to back up our reasons. Using the word because answers the question why when our readers want to know why we think that or why we feel that way. I'm gonna show you how I use the, the word because to help support the reason that I think Yasmin is a very creative character. This is a photograph of the letter that I started yesterday when I wanted to talk about Yasmin being so creative. And so I started with this opinion. I love Yasmin because she is so creative. I went on to share one of the reasons why I think she's creative. One reason she is creative is that she used a map when she was lost. I'm sorry a little bit about the scratch marks, but I'm just like you. Sometimes I get to writing and my hand doesn't exactly do what my brain wants it to do. So I just scratch it out and start over. One reason she is creative is that she used a map when she was lost. But now I want to say more about that reason. And I'm going to use the word because to help me with that. Why does using a map when she is lost show that she was creative? Let me show you how I added that. I said, this is creative because she used her own drawing tools to make the map. I told more about the reason of being creative by using the word because she used her own drawing tools. That's just one way that you can use the word because to help you come up with other ways to support the reasons that you chose for your opinion. Okay, writers, your turn to do this work. Here's your job as a writer today. Reread your opinion letter draft. Check for big, a big bold opinion with reasons. So if you finished yours yesterday, you can go back and reread that one. And if you didn't finish it, that's okay. Just check to see that you started with a big, old, big bold opinion and are beginning to add reasons and examples and details to go with it. Try using because to say more about one of your reasons. If you've already finished the letter, you can always add it to the side and then just draw a little arrow to go where, where you want it to go. After you try that, I want you to make a writer's choice. You can either continue to work on your opinion letter draft, be sure to include all that you know about writing a strong opinion, or you can start a new opinion letter draft by writing about a different character you love. Remember, it doesn't have to be a character that we read about in class. It could be someone from your own independent reading. All right, writers, head off and try to support your reasons with the word because, and then keep sharing your opinion. Head back to the Nearpod when your writing time is over so you can reflect on today's lesson. Have fun.